Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Thanks for joining me. In the previous video, we made this. It's a list of pictures of me. So I think there are like 50 of them or something. We created this friends adapter. Yeah, there are 50 of them. So if you go back to the emulator, you'll notice it's just 50 lists of me. It's 50 pictures of me. You can scroll through these. This is all using a recycler view in Android. So what we're gonna do in this video is instead of displaying the same image again and again, we're gonna display maybe some text that's different for each person. So say these are your 50 top friends. So you wanna make a friends, maybe you're making a friends app, you want a list of all your top friends, you can send them messages, maybe we'll use Firebase eventually, or Amazon Web Services, AWS, or Google Cloud Platform, GCP, to scale to millions of users, billions of users even maybe. But in this case, let's just go ahead and work on creating, instead of just again and again me, let's try to create a custom row for each, or a custom data for each row. So instead of having just pictures of me, it'll be pictures of everybody. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, let's, let's go to this My Friend Layout. It's just a picture of me, that's all it is. So what I wanna do is I wanna drag in a text view. So I'm gonna drag in a text view, I'll just put it there. I'm gonna, I'll click, drag, let go. Is that working? And then I'll click, oops, let's see if I can click, drag, and I'll put it to the top of there. So there it is. And actually for this image, what we can do, we can do, I think it's like a scale type. We'll change this to center crop. That'll make it kind of crop out, but it'll make it a square. So if you go back, if you'll notice, we have the width and the height, they're both a 200 DP there. Um, you can open and close that, but they're 200 dp, so it's going to crop it inside of there. We can also do, um, I think it's a just bounds, and we can set this to true. So I think that we need that also. Okay, so save this. If I were to save this and run it, you'll notice it should just make the image take up its full width of the image view. So we'll wait a second. It's building. What's going on? We can wait a second for this to run. It's taking its time here. There we go. So now it takes up its full space, and we have our text view there. So in this case, we're gonna put our name there. So instead of text view, let's do this. Let's change its uh, ID, this'll be the ID. The ID will be um, my, uh, my best friend, or we'll call it um, friend, friend title. And the text for this will be, we'll call this, actually we'll make this, we'll make it blank for now. So nothing. So that should go away. But the text view is still there. You'll notice if you do, if you click on it down here in the component tree, you'll notice it's, it notice it's still there. So we haven't like actually deleted it yet. So I'm gonna save that. And I'll just run it just to show you. It should take only a second. Not sure why Gradle's taken a long time today. Here we go. And there it is, so now it's gone. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna display something. So you'll notice if I click on there, we give it an ID of friend title. So if we go into content main, no, no, uh, if you go inside of friends adapter, look for on bind view holder and inside of here do holder dot view and you'll notice that's the same view as the view right there and right there basically. And then friends title and then dot text equals and we'll call this um, Daniel, let's do Daniel alone because I of course am your favorite friend so we'll save that and we'll run it and let's just see what happens here so there we are now they all say Daniel Malone so we're getting a little bit closer to a contact manager or whatever this is going to turn out to be but you'll notice all of them say they all say Daniel Malone so we're saying hey holder get the holder for each row um, set the views friend title which is Again, it's that right there because we gave it an idea of friend title. Um, and then set its text to Daniel Malone. But you'll notice something really cool about this on by view holder. We have position that we can use. So I'll do this. I'll do Daniel Malone, then I'll do dollar sign, uh, then we can type position. Type position there. And now we're actually using that variable. So every time this row right there gets executed, it means there's a new row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, it'll just, re, it'll call this for every single time. The only difference is this position will change. It'll start at 0 and go to 50. So I'm going to save that and run it and go back to the emulator. You know, that says Daniel on 0, 1, 2, it should go all the way down to 50. That's how many I created, or 49, because we start at 0, because counting in 0 it starts at 0. So this is more custom to what we want. What I want to do, I want to give, I can, uh, can hold down the control key, hold down the control 
the, the control key and click on friend title, it'll take you right to it. Let's go back to design mode and let's add some padding there. So we'll search for um, padding. We'll call this padding. Let's do, we'll do um, 2040 peaks. Why not? That gives it some spacing there. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and run it. And that should give us some more space just so it looks better. There we go. So now it's standing alone, zero, one, two. So right now we're kind of, we're, we're kind of on our way there, but we need to actually create a model for our recycler view. So how can we do that? I'm thinking we can actually do that in the next video. This is far enough so far for here. Just to kind of recap, inside of onbind view holder, this gets called for every single row. So if you have 50 rows, that'll be called 50 times. But the only difference is the position changes. So it starts at zero and goes up to 49 in this case because we set our limit to 50. Um, so in the next video, we'll actually create a model where we can have different friends. So instead of Daniel Malone and a picture of me, maybe we can have pictures of you and your friends and your family and your vacation or just whatever. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'll see you in the next video where we'll complete this task where we actually put in different names for each person and different photos for each person. So hopefully you'll learn something and I'll see you in the next video.